Hey, you know how Hello Neighbor 2 is like a sequel? That's not the only thing this video has in common with Hello Neighbor 2. Two months ago, I made a video about fan songs or nerd core. Nerd. Geeky nerd point Dexter bullshit. I think I mentioned a lot of the channels I wanted to talk about, but I forgot a couple. JT Music. I'm making this for JT Music. A lot of people wanted me to mention Star Bomb, which is like the Aaron Hansen Game Grumps music video thing. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't really watch these. I know about the two Luigi-centered ones where Mario raps about cum that dick or something, so and the Smash Bros. one where Luigi gets so pissed off, he decides to install the mod that makes him a badass, and he gets bitches. Where's Rob? He's the hottest one. This is all really good animation, and I like most of the designs, especially how Snake looks in his music video. I just really like how his eyes are. Now, the Ballad of Luigi designs, I'm not a big fan. It looks like the fucking 7D. Oh, oh no! I hurt Mr. Ego Raptor's feelings with that one. I take it back. I have to tell him how, how I really feel. Aaron Hansen, won't you listen to my speech? I don't have any game grump hating responsibility. Uh, I forgot about the next guy's name I want to talk about. I just wrote him in my notes as Yoshi Flu Guy. Want me a baby? How generous of you. But I can't eat a bite. I've caught the Yoshi Flu. Watch it. Yoshi Flu? Yoshi flew where? People really wanted me to talk about Brentel Floss, but God, I can't. I'm just so sick with this fucking Yoshi flu. He's fine, I guess, but it's all very charming. He made this song called Game Launch Rock, where it's catchy, but you will not catch me listening to this. It's like one of those things where the instrumental is like the same as like a shitty carnival ride outside of a Kmart. Yes, it's a dirty little trick, so you gotta be staunch, kid. Don't ever buy a console at But it, it kind of sounds like a Water Over Yonder song, and that's really funny. He does a lot of these with lyrics things, and oh my god, I almost forgot about this. Not really a genre and more of a level of hell. Emma says this shit is like crack. Stop! Before you say something you might regret. Hello, Dave. Don't piss our Karina on the internet. Or what? Is this the is this the guy who played Mr. Clean in that one JonTron video? Ugh. No need to get so intense. My nervous wanna do. I'm not talking about Friday night funkin' with lyrics. Fuck <gasps> off. I'm going back to old reliable. I don't give a shit. Man on the internet made a bunch of Undertale songs, but with lyrics, and I'm sorry. I really am. But oh my god, these are <laughs> I'll just play one. I either can't listen to it, or it's so fucking funny and I'm laughing. They tried, they really did, but it just kind of falls apart every time. It's like a fucking train wreck. I admire the effort, though, but I, I, I just think these songs aren't able to have lyrics. It's not made for them, and also it's just wrong, but... God, it feels so right! Let's dance! I am the guy who everyone craves, rise to the top of the world, I'll say! Time for the camera, come look ya! Take your soul and break your heart! This one is just a car crash right at the beginning. These mainly suffer from being offbeat, not mixed well, and just, like, cringe emotions screaming. I feel bad for saying that, but how do I describe their version of Megalovania other than that? Your determination fell, you filled it with love, I can tell! Hey, Sans, maybe if you weren't screaming like this, you would have, you would have more energy to actually fight. They kind of tried to defend this one by saying they tried to put more focus on the emotion ah! of Sans and not being on beat. What the fuck? I guess that's interesting, but like, why are you treating it like it's a live jazz recording? The song was already made and you can't stay on beat. Sans, what are you doing? The Hopes and Dreams tradition isn't too bad, but they keep calling Chara... Kara? Come with me, Kara. Come with your best friend. I don't know if that's actually how it's said, but it feels wrong. I got this shit blasting my ears. I don't care how it's pronounced. Stop trying to live. Stop all the dodging. Stop standing in my way. Please let me win for once in your life. Kara is not my name. <sighs> I don't hate these. I, I love them. Man on the internet, you're a hero. You're an inspiration. And most importantly, you're a lad. Rap battles. They're also kind of in this, but not really. And there's so much with that. I'd rather cover them in a completely different video if that ever happens. I'm sorry. 
but I'm not getting in a discussion about John Tron versus Scott the Waz rap battle. Talk to your parents about it. Eve C, my name is John Tron. Ain't no way I'm done. Your mother's like, game ain't feel a bitch got 88 Minecraft song. Minecraft songs, fuck. Captain Sparkles, your music saved me. Wait, hold on. I need to get something out of my system. Fuck you, Tobuscus. Okay, let's go. Captain Sparkles of I'm Minecraft Captain Story Sparkles. Mode is a brilliant musical genius. I can never hear the original songs without thinking about the Minecraft parodies. One time I was in this shitty clearance store and I heard the original Fallen Kingdom. I was trying not to lose my shit and start tearing down all the clothes racks. This is another thing that could get its own video, so I just want to say these are all legendary and they're just burned into my mind this is this is gonna sound really fucked up but if you were a fan of like the game little big planet during 2011 to 2014 please tell me you remember this this somehow infecting into that game like people would upload a level for captain sparkle sack boy lip lip syncing and shit another guy i remember is slam who made these but he was mostly doing these weirdly beautiful animations and i just want to mention slim Cow because i barely hear anything about him even though he took boring ass minecraft and turned it into like this pixar level studio ghibli emotional roller coaster speaking of emotional roller coasters skyda's minecraft also made these let's move on let me ask you something what does su stand for some people might say steven universe that's right we're talking about the sand stronger than you parody what a fucking masterpiece it's better than the rebecca sugar version sands could be steven but steven couldn't be sands that's all i'm saying but there's one problem i've tricked you su doesn't stand for steven universe it actually stands for Shut up! This is my excuse to talk about Smosh for five seconds. You don't like it? Then go complain in the comments. You guys suck! Go kill yourself! Smosh made a couple raps about video games. It counts, okay? Well, the Assassin's Creed one is, is more of an advertisement with Ubisoft, I'm pretty sure, than an actual fan work. I mean, it's fine, because this is the only thing I remember about Assassin's Creed. And I'm pretty sure I own the fucking thing. They did this Smash Bros. rap I completely forgot about. Why is Ian playing Mega Man and not Link? They have an entire costume. Ian? Mega Man is fucking ass. You're lame now. Anthony is Mario's inspired, though. A lot of the costumes are reused from other videos, like this really fucked up Fox costume. Some shit from the Pokemon series. The villager rap section goes hard, but most of the song just reminds me how much of old Smosh just did that humor of look, look at this girl, she's hot, right? Yeah! Even though the jokes like these were way funnier. I hope this really heavy beach ball doesn't break my leg. <laughs> it's kinda hard to listen to these. I think they're all right and catchy. But I have the fucking ghetto Smosh versions in my head instead of the real ones. And somehow the ghetto ones are like better. Like, not only do I prefer the lyrics because it's funnier, but it's also, like, mixed way better. I, I don't know how that's possible. It gets to the point where the ghetto ones sound like the originals instead of fucking real ones. What the fuck, Ian? Okay, let's get more comfortable with some familiar things. I can never be comfortable again. <laughs> hey, Beavis. He wants what's in your pocket. Let me guess, Steve, just based on this profile picture, show me talking to minors and cheating on wives. Right on the money! This is Mando Pony, and yes, he went on to do some uh, bad things. Hey, asshole. That's Jonochrome's job. He made songs about My, My Little, Little Pony, Pony Undertale, and FNAF. Raise your hand if you saw it coming. We gotta definitely write a song about how we, we do not diddle kids. I mainly just want to talk about Survive the Night, even ignoring his history. The song is not that good oh okay like if he wasn't a bad person i would probably be saying it's pretty all right but i don't know that that doesn't seem like the right thing to say i like to stay completely unbiased but also no i don't that's not my thing what did i ever say that also this is a fnaf fan song who gives a shit all of the lyrics seem pretty aimless especially about if it's directed to the kids or the security guard knowing this guy it was probably directed towards the kids i think i see a bit of flesh inside the what the fuck does this mean? Do you mean out outside the new guy? Why does the new guy have all the flesh in, uh, like inside of him? The footage I'm using right now is a source filmmaker animation by uh, that name. And all my praise about the song is for this animation. It's very well done and honestly makes the song actually work. Kind of. Mando Pedo's voice matched Toy Bonnie the most. But sometimes to do some good you gotta be the bad guy! Whoa, just take it easy, man. But Toy Bonnie isn't the only one singing all four of the other toys are singing and as the animation goes on you can tell the animator took a favor the toy chica the most just 
kept u- using her, giving her the best sections and the most work into her animation. Now I'm not just gonna sit here and accuse this poor animator on these baseless accusations. But let me just say, I get it, brother. She's doing these fucking insane flips and shit. She's fucking slaying on this track. It's a real shame it was made by Mando Phony. Hey, Sky does Minecraft just called. He wants his abuser license back. I've been going to church every day just to apologize for my sin of not mentioning JT music in my original video. That's my bad. Send me to hell if you want. I feel like the holy grail. Just so I don't go to hell. I became aware of them right when I was wrapping up that video, so I couldn't add them in because, wow, I don't feel like I it. I first got introduced to their Hello Neighbor music video, and we'll get into that later because it's a whole can of worms. It's actually, it's more like a trash can full of snakes. You're a freak. You look like a walking green penis. Their Cuphead song is the funniest shit. At some point, they claim they're gonna knock Walt Disney out. Holy shit, he's already dead. There's not much left you can do. I don't know how I missed Welcome to the Underground. That shit, goddamn, looks like the creepy pasta's ready. Actually, that makes me wonder how many creepy pasta songs are out there. Like, holy shit, it really was ready. As funny as it is, I like this song, okay? And it's definitely not because I saw that, that, Good Mythical Morning got it, and it was really funny. Well, first off, they used most of the models Smash Bits used for If Undertale was realistic, and come on, it's already a 10 out of 10. Am I right, lads, or am I right, lads? Right, the singer voicing Papyrus, I can't really tell which of them it is, does this part, and this is honestly really impressive how they're able to get this pitch and emotion out of the stupid joke Skeletor voice. Their Garden Warfare rap could be a very good children's song. It's a shame Chomper had to say the word bitches. All of their FNAF songs are pretty iconic, while the first few are a little Little forgettable, but I like how it's just JT music guy green screened in rapping about Mangle. Like then there's join us for a bite. How the fuck is this the same people behind? Yeah, sorry, this one is good. That, that's all I have. The Pizza Simulator song is completely in live action. God, I love it so much. They got this weird bald guy to play, I guess, Michael Afton, and all of the faces he does are beautiful. I love how he's just broken his apartment and then shit just starts <laughs> happening. This part actually goes so hard. Just tell those little brats to give Freddy a hug. And when it's done, sweep whatever's left of them the It's such a funny fucking lyric. I also love all the energy the main JT guy brings. In the early ones, he just kind of rapped and shrugged. In newer ones, he's fucking insane. And hey, look, it's filmed in an actual arcade. Something Willy's Wonderland did not do, and it looks like shit. Yes, I'm trying to say the JT music guy is better than Nicolas Cage. Their newest song that came out, like, the hour before writing this is Back for Another Bite. These song titles are all blending together. Look at the old Freddy costume they had. Look at the new one. FNAF real or fake. It's getting much more clear now. And my doors are locked. Fuck you, Chica. You're not getting in here. Eh, actually, Chica, baby, anything for you. This cosplay was done by Duh Regular Sauce. More like, we got a new Duh Regular William <laughs> Afton really over here. How the fuck did you create this? They also did Glamrock Freddy. This person must feel like a god. Like, this is in the Bible, right? On the third day, God gave us Glamrock Freddy. It's in there. It's so fucking surreal seeing this thing move combined with the accurate set. I've seen accurate FNAF sets, but, like, this shit looks like the FNAF movie. The music video is really cool, especially when Mr. Fazbear is singing, but it's kind of a shame the song is just okay. Like, it's more on the level of their older FNAF songs, and it's really not as unique. It would be so much better if the chorus actually played a little bit more into the playful, childish instrumental. It kind of is, but it's not cheerful enough, and it just kind of sounds like this. Yeah, bitch Freddy at the door. Yeah, bitch, I'm screaming in gore. I'm afraid that this animatronic band loves guns galore. All for them, the bear, the bunny, the hey, dude, just wanted to let you know, and the oh Nowadays, they upload really frequently, and I really don't know how. Like, there's a new song every week, Alphabet Lore. Oy vey. Look at the Luigi's Mansion 3 song thumbnail. Holy shit, Luigi downloaded that mod again. Let's talk about Hello Neighbor Ooh, again. Hello Mr. Neighbor. Peterson will always invade videos, but he doesn't get his own video. No review, I refuse. I will be dead in my grave before I ever become a Hello Neighbor fan. God damn it. I love these songs, especially the live action music videos. JT Music is the only one with the balls to recreate Mr. Peterson's house. If everyone else did it, it would end up on the news. That that neighbor shit is scary. It kind of reminds me of the Random Encounter musicals, but better produced since they do these very sparingly. But they always go hard as shit. There's some parts where the lyrics don't really match up to what's happening. And I think that's because they didn't know how to like actually show what was being said like uh nikki says he's gonna shoot the neighbor but he doesn't 
and he just does the movement of holding a gun, even though the sound effects still play. I'm only running for the exercise. This is so fucking good. This guy's a circus clown, but I'm not a kid to toy with. Next time you treat your mouth, be careful, might be poison. Ooh, chef's, chef's kiss. So good. Hey, hey, who, who made this song? At the end, he becomes Mr. Peterson. What the hell was with the main character becoming the neighbor in these musicals? Even Smash Bits did it. What the fuck? In the real Hello Neighbor, the twist is that Mr. Peterson is a fucking bird, so at least... It's better here. There's also a Secret Neighbor musical, and it goes equally as hard. Secret Neighbor was this... Uh, ba okay, basically, it's Among Us, but you're a neighbor down the street. I don't fucking know. Bro, he's slaying in this song. I don't care. I can't even tell what's happening, but I love how they bring back this lyric from the original. Are you just running for the exercise? The original guy is still here somehow. Then Mr. Peterson has his own section where he dresses like this and shit. I forget my goddamn attack! I'm getting tired of coming up with excuses to show more of this. They have a fucking sword battle at the end, and they're going through the wall and shit. What? He just walks in with a fucking claymore. Hello Neighbor song Fandroid, the musical robot. It's like this viral video where Fandroid sings a Hello Neighbor fan song. This is like a shitty robot I don't care about who sings about stupid shit I don't care about. Why does this sound like that one Tally Hall song? Do you know what I'm talking about? Okay, let's move on from Hello Neighbor. <laughs> Just kidding! This is the house of a very special neighbor Who has a weird behavior I remember when I first listened to this and started losing my shit when the chorus started. It's the man who has a weird behavior Hello neighbor, hello, hello neighbor You're the neighbor so with the mouth. Mr. Peterson! What's he up to, man? The final new guy I want to mention is Aaron Fraser Nash, who creates these blank characters, sings a song. And he, like, he, like, makes these on a conveyor belt. And shit, they release so fast. I'm guessing he has a team, because even if the songs aren't that good, I could tell they still take some talent and effort. There's no way it's just one guy, and if it is, I take back everything, and this is extremely impressive. Any character you could think of, and they have a song. Kingpin. <laughs> Kamek, Dominic Toretto. I became aware of this channel from again my friend Seatbelt because he showed he showed me this shit. Let me introduce myself. I'm Big Jack. Got almost everything. That's no cap. What do you say to this? I think you just have to pepper spray someone. I grew up with a silver spoon, but trust me, it's tragic. Was always upstaged when it came to the magic. I used to fall eight of my they did a song for like every single major character in Puss in Boots 2. What drives a man to do this? These days, these paws will sneak up with all of your loot. I, I don't want to be around it. Hey, it's Future Me, and we have one last new person to talk about. Well, not really a person, more of a hive mind. Horror Skunks is this really popular channel ran by this guy, Winston. They made these live action CGI hybrid short films and it's probably the most fun you could have on the internet right now. I'm debating whether to make a full video about them, but uh, let me give you a crash course. You see this? That's fucking Jumbo Josh, dear viewer. You signed up for this. Their animations feature a, a lot of these popular mascot horror characters and fucking skeevy bee toilet but but you can tell winston never really pays attention to the lore or backstory of the characters because he just makes shit up the reason i'm bringing this up this channel is because they have their own fan songs and let me just say the wiggles should change their name to not as good as horror skunks rainbow friends they call us so bright that it never ends oh, oh. one of my favorites is this garden of Bam Bam song where they're driving and then suddenly winston wearing some crazy ass makeup appears and declares he's the devil oh what is happening i'm, I'm the devil oh i don't think you know me don't let the fear show oh i don't think so did you understand me my dear i am I think this is an excuse for Winston to dress like a sexy Tumblr man, and honestly, he's pulling it off. But it's just like a mental breakdown. He starts laughing hysterically. There, there's like 18 Joker moments in this. Why does he have these people tied up? 
But why does he become tied up? Where the fuck are they? How is he talking? Uh, what? Let's look at their Opilla Bird song. This is basic therapy for losing your own life. <gasps> Devil. These songs are honestly not that bad, but they probably rely on la 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 too much. La 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 Okay, the real reason I made this video wasn't to talk about Smosh. I know it's surprising. I just got even more addicted to fan songs and I needed to talk about them again. I also watched more of the people I covered in the last video, so let's dig those suckers up and have another autopsy. It'll be great. I neglected the Living Tombstones FNAF songs. Well, not the first two, the rest. First one kind of sucks, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's because I don't like the original game, but these songs never really even represent the game, so I don't know. I can't fix you as fucking fire. I love how the thumbnail and beginning tricks you into thinking it's a cutesy fan song, but then you get this break core exploding bullshit. It kind of parallels the baby tricking Michael in the game. Now, this was probably not intentional, but whatever. Let me say smart words. There's Dying of Fire, which has the funniest music video I've ever seen. You know, the night guard is very reasonable. Just bash them up with a hammer and you're good. I really appreciate the close-ups of them screaming. I love that. Moving on, let's talk about Robert I don't know. He was the one who made that Markiplier song that I made fun of for like five seconds. And you know what? More power to him because I love this shit. But recently he made this reaction to Odd Ones Out and since it got popular he just didn't stop. I don't really like reaction videos, especially like these, but I don't think I could criticize him about being obsessed with an animation channel. The reason I'm mentioning this is because he decided to make an intro for these videos. Sometimes I feel like the odd one out No one knows what I'm talking about So I just go and take a trip to soup where I'm speechless, I'm flabbergasted, and I'm really bad I can't make fun of it. So yep, that's all. I'm definitely not going to use this as an excuse to talk about random counters again. Nah, I don't care. Go kill yourself! You know the definition of crazy? Updated! Random Encounters, or more specifically, AJ, was one of the only people to respond to my original video, and he was surprisingly cool about it. I know for like every bad thing I say about Random Encounters, I have like 20 good things, but I, I, was, I was a little mean to him, especially his Cuphead animation, so I just want to say, I love this animation. You agree to my game and you lost. This pose is so powerful. I don't think the animation is good, but I wouldn't have it changed for the world. It's just, it's just so honest. Like, this is probably one of AJ's first times animating. He somehow pulled through. Yeah, the animation looks like it needs to go to the ICU, but goddamn, every inch of this channel just has this honest effort put into it. AJ kind of just replied to some random comments on my video, and, and he got in on the evil dirt bag with a chainsaw joke. But that's all I wanted. AJ, if you're watching this, ban ban the musical. Any lesser YouTuber would have sent me like a copyright strike and death threats for even trying. Now, AJ is different. He created the Amiibo song. I also watched some more of these, so let's talk about them again. All of their TF2 musicals are really good. Like, all of the Random Encounter people are really good at playing the mercenaries, especially Nathan Moore. I, I mean, Baldy guy is the heavy. Like, come on, he's just the fucking heavy. Dump him in the battlefield and get the same results. I discovered Phoenix Wright, the musical. The visuals aren't that good because it's trying to look like the game. But there's two songs in here I really like. Apparently, Miles Edgeworth was going to be played by Nate Wants the Battle and then fucking Matt Pat. We'll see you later. This is not the first time they have trouble getting Matt Pat for things. Instead, they got one of their less human condom friends. And I think he actually did a pretty better job than what Matt Pat could do. I don't care. I find his performance really fitting and funny. And I feel like Matt Pat would just scream like Matt Pat. I don't know what the fuck trombone champ is, but the musical is really good. I think AJ's outfit slaps. Actually, now to think of it, I don't know what half of these games are Hungry Lambu, the man from the window, what the fuck? Watching them doesn't get any answers either. Wait. Santa, get out of the way. Resident Enos is this video where AJ is like a vampire doing this voice. Devilishly handsome, sparkly vampire named Enos? Shut up. Oh yeah, and also Markiplier is there. This got a sequel that was funded by fucking Disney XD. This is when Markiplier had dyed hair, so instead of just letting his character have dyed hair, they put him in this shitty wig. Wait, hold on. Is that the Baldy guy cut? When I saw the two other Baldy musicals, I thought this was just random encounters making shit up, and I didn't know. 
This was something that actually happened in the Baldy franchise. I'm sorry. Hey, it's future me again, and I just want to quickly say I really like their Pokemon songs because I forgot about them, and I watched them all, and they're really good, and I like them. I like, I like the Pokemon Go song. I like the... Um, There's this Pokemon University professor song featuring Jay Wits. Do, do you remember Jay Wits? Oh yeah, and Meowth is Hitler, that's great! I don't. I really like uh, Professor Oak in that song. This picture is not very good. And then they made a new one last year for uh, the, the celebrating 10 years, and it's it's for Team Rocket. And to teach your kids more Fortnite dances. And it has a, it's probably my favorite one, it has a bunch of cameos from all of the people in those musicals. And it even reuses like a bit of archival footage of Peter since uh, he left. The random encounters and the beard shows up. I, I don't even think I've mentioned the beard yet at all in these videos. I love the beard. And yeah, uh, Professor Oak shows up and, and Peter. <laughs> now I'm sad. It's weird. I think random encounters is literally the first YouTuber I can think of that I've seen where the, their uh, quality has not changed in like 11 years. You scumbags are worthless. Anyway, let's talk about FNAF the musical. For, for for a third time. Maybe I am too repetitive. I finally realized the other musicals without Nate and Markiplier are actually prequels, and the Random Country's lore is completely different and even more fucked up than I originally thought. I said William Afton was three different characters here, but no, there's actually fucking four. The lore is like completely different. Michael and Elizabeth Afton, yes, CG4 is fucking Michael oh, Afton. God. They are not William Afton's children but they're instead his nephews for some reason. I tried writing all the lore in my notes and I gave up after the third video. I couldn't do it. Vanny kills Vanessa, who is now renamed to- Benedict? Oh, an egg. Alexandria Vanessa Eggs Benedict. I didn't make that up. I swear to- I swear to every god that's ever existed. Also, this is the bite of 83, I think, so there's that. In this video, they couldn't even get Matt Pat to even record lines, so it's this other guy that's clearly not him, and he comes in and he trips up and that's his shit, and it's hilarious. I love this voice so much. He's trying to, like, sound like Matt Pat at first, but then gives up and does this, like, Joker King Candy voice, and he's like, I've had enough of you wasting my time. I warned you not to waste my time, and this is what you do? I thought I could help more. By building a bucket with legs? What kind of moron pays money to see rubbish like this? The acting in these two videos are fucking gold, I'm sorry. <gasps> Foxy. Foxy the Ferocious. In Web of Lies, MatPat is actually there, but he doesn't say. He just does this intro where he's screaming about deleting files. I want it all wiped clean. Like, irrecoverably? Like, burned to ash. Hey, uh, what should we do with the Mando Pony chat logs? Burned to ash. All the comments are praising MatPat's acting as evil dirtbag with a chainsaw, but there is way more to this video. The fucking trash gang is evil, and the crate with hands fucking stabs an animatronic to death. Then, <laughs> there's literally the best scene in any random encounters video ever. I was in a mix between a laughing fit and pure confusion when this happened. So she accidentally releases glitch trap, and for some reason, he's just standing right there. He wasn't there the whole time. Look at this, it's like the fucking Nesquik rabbit. I love it so much. It's really funny to compare the really high quality, amazing Vanny costume they have, and the glitch trap that's falling apart. I would not have it any other way. Uh, it's Elizabeth, isn't it? What are you? I'm a hidden file. Or am I? I'm a hidden file, or am I, has been stuck in my in my head. I don't know why, but the energy of the scene is so fucking funny. A hard-working Fazbear employee secretly investigating the death of her brother Michael. Your brother Michael, what the hell? What do you, what is he, what is Glitchtrap doing with his arms and neck? Why, why does he have no control of his body? Aha, the great Freddy Fazbear in the flesh. Oh my God, please bring him back. I love Random Encounters glitch trap so fucking much. Never change, AJ. Never change. What a fun journey that didn't need to be this long. As of writing this, I'm extremely scared this quick update has ballooned to another 20 minute mental breakdown. So, I guess that's it for me. I don't want to look crazy or anything. Yep.
I'm not one for get-togethers, and I don't like social calls. If I find